Welcome back everybody. Had that nice quick setup for you. Today we have motherfucking Turtles legend in the building. Mr. Turbo Gilman with this early AM stream for the boy. You see the birds chirping outside the window. Turbo, how you doing today, man? Yo, thumbs up, Dr. Fat Body. Let's do this. So hell yeah, you showing off Legend of Mana. Are you excited? Oh yeah. I love this game. Super hype. This room's super hype too. And uh for people who played Seiken Densetsu three, you'll see some familiar faces. You'll see uh Lise or Race and uh Durin on the right. Anyway, that's just because that screen's hype. I love it. Word. Uh, is there a name that, uh, or otherwise I'm going to just save time if there wasn't like a name thing or whatever? Um, let's see here. So let's go to the chat. I do believe that, uh, I think Jordan the Last has the fat, uh, the fattest. Let's see. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Give him shout outs. Jordan. I'm not sure if there's a name. Otherwise, I'm just gonna use. I I usually use just G, but I could use F, or I could use something else. I don't know. Whatever. Or, or L M N O P. Yeah. Um. Let's see. How can I look at it? Give me two seconds. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, Jordan, Jordan, Jeff. Then they had a nice little battle. No, I do think I think Chef Saber got it right in there. So Chef, if you're here, you can select the name. If not, Turbo's going to or uh, the last will. Yeah. Damn, Doctor Fat Body just said my name. Hope that gets you uh, vibrating in your giblets a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Page word. Page is the name of the character. And then I am ready to count you down whenever you are ready to go. So let me know after that. Wait, should I be a girl? Uh, it's your call. It okay, uh, we can pretty much whenever. And uh, once the run starts, I'm going to obviously take off the headset. So. Word. Well, uh... All right, I will count you down. Let me know. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, three, two, one. Good luck. Yeah, I'm good. All right. I still hit that. Two, one. Good luck. I still hit that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Man. All right, yes, yeah, so this is Legend of Mana. Uh, it's a little bit different from the rest of the games in the series. In this game, you use... Sorry, give me a second. Uh, it's a little bit of world building, and you place, like, key artifacts from the lore, and then you drop them, and uh, it affects all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh, yeah, thanks, too. Yeah, thanks, Jordan. Yeah. Hell, yeah. Yeah, thanks, uh, Ryan, as well. Thank you. Anyway, so... Uh, yeah, uh, so we're going to place them in a very specific order. I don't know, like, all the things that... But basically, like, quests and, like, when you place um, artifacts determine, like, all sorts of things in, like, the, in, like, the cycles and, uh, and like, unlocking um, triggers for, like, quests and stuff, so... Um, yeah, and the rest is uh, micromanaging movement, RNG, and... Uh, yeah, just trying to enjoy this shit, so. And, and of course, uh, of course some mashing, so. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's get this going. Yo, Cygnus, yo, thanks for the good luck. Alright, nothing too crazy here. Just... All right, so the only thing with this disc that I have problems with is sometimes this doesn't load fast, that room, so that we're in there then. This run is going to complete, no problem. So everyone, everyone celebrate. <laughs> there we go. 
Yeah. And we're gonna go to Domino and we're gonna basically grab an NPC and do like half of their quest and then we're gonna trigger the um the animals. Because you can get pets in this game. Among other things. You can do all sorts of world creation stuff. You can get pets, you can make magical like instruments, you can um, make armor, you can make items, uh, you can make plants, you know. And by plants, I mean fruit, uh, basically for leveling up your uh, your pets and stuff. But anyway, yeah, here we go though. And we're gonna do a lot of wiggle moving. It's like, as far as I understand, like when you hit diagonals in this game, like if you like, you basically get like a little bit further. So it's gonna be a lot of like cardinal directions and then like just tapping. And then there's a couple of texts in this game that uh, save you a good chunk of time. So, like, I'll be making sure I pay a little bit of attention just in a couple places. But yeah, the rest of this is pretty straightforward. Uh, this quest, this is uh, the dragon quest. This is the shortest quest in the game. And uh, this route is... Uh, what? whoops. Um, is basically, I just copied uh, the world record runner... Uh, Quatricus uh, is run. So, All right, let's see though. All right, we're gonna get ready to go to our first place. We're gonna go into the caves twice, once for this quest, and then after that, we're gonna go back into the caves, and we're gonna basically pray for weapon RNG. You get like a 50% chance to get an axe, um, and there's two waxes that drop after, um, basically after you beat this quest. It like upgrades the. Um, it upgrades the items of this realm to drop these two specific axes from this one enemy. So, we're gonna abuse that system mechanic with artifacts in just a little bit. And then this is for um, abilities. So you basically unlock special techniques and you have um, basic abilities that you can choose too. And some of the basic abilities are really, really good in this game. Um, one of my favorites is jump. I won't be using jump in this run, but um, there is a very good like, jump technique you can do too. Of course, Lazarus. Um, I'm doing the basic spin stuff. Um, just because I don't know the, the tree arc for the, um, the jump one. And then one of the other main things that we do in this run is that, uh, um, is that basically um, if you have triggers that are like unbound to, um, to sp like special attacks or um, magic or whatever, um, you can use them to cancel heavy attacks. So I'll, I basically alternate just between like um, heavy attack and one of my uh, unused triggers to cancel the animation. See, I, I have like way less end lag for my uh, for those uh, for those big swipes. And then for like pretty much everything else, like a beat em up is normal. There's like groupings and there's strategies. So like these these mushrooms, you can get lucky if you get close. I didn't get quite so lucky. So generally, you want to stay farther away. But you know, I'm I'm going pretty risky because I'm. I'm still getting my feet wet in this, so... And you go and grab that, but... Sometimes the, the despawn of this stuff is, like, even faster than going out of your way. If you miss it the first time. Alright, so... Let's see where I can choose. That's bad, but it's bad. Okay. Yeah, not too much to Other than, like, do this... Oh, we're gonna see laser blade in a battle. Oh yes, sick, yo! Came in with a, a fresh laser blade. Okay, so it's basically RNG what your your secondary person does. So, and that's like um, NPCs in this game have special um, 
special techniques uh, that are unique to them, and that was actually this. So not only did we get a special technique of his that actually hit, but uh, but it was his uh, character unique one. So that was actually pretty cool. Um, hopefully we get to see Nicolo's, but that one yeah, never drops. We'll be getting Niccolo after this quest, so hopefully, and for this, if he stays right about there, I'll save the most amount of time, so when he walked back over to the left of that chest, that actually is going to cost me about probably like three seconds here, and then you just mash out, so. Oh, well, you don't actually do that. You choose the alternate. So I want to be careful there. There's a couple of text boxes, like I said, that you want to just be careful about because it'll save you a significant amount of time, even just delaying like a text box like one second. And I'm not, I don't have them all like perfectly mapped out yet. And they're going to be a little bit different now because of the uh, name of the character being longer. All right, so here we go. This could be really quick. Um, us, you know, whatever. Um, getting one of these axes. Otherwise, uh, we're gonna we'll see what happens. We're basically gonna pray for an earth splitter, but a, a black elk will be just fine. And then we're also gonna equip defend because uh, we're basically grinding for a special technique called uh, counter strike. And uh, so we're taking a fast track to that. And here we go. So hopefully one of these guys drops an axe. I'm gonna say. We're gonna get an Earth Split the first time. Okay, we're gonna get XP. So hopefully I can kill this guy in time and get some of this XP. Oh no. Alright, please drop it. Nope, okay, so this is gonna be at least another 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Luckily for this one, uh, there are multiple weapon drops, but either of them are fine. Um, even though the Earth Splitter is bigger in damage, having a one-handed axe is like, super fast. So the Black Elk is still very good, and Cutting Pine is very good. Oh my gosh, there's nothing. Okay, so this is why the, the estimate is more like 150, because this, this could take like, a couple minutes. You just never know. Gosh, please give me an axe. Where's the? Where's the? All right, yeah. Somebody, please donate for an axe. Please, 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 please donate for one. It doesn't even matter which one. One hand, two handed. Oh yeah, and also these guys who are for slaughtering these little goblins or whatever. We're gonna go and get one. Um, and a couple of quests. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go, finally. Alright, so we got the weapon I prefer. Alright, there we go. Alright. <laughs> oh, it worked. Alright, so anyway, um... Yeah, that took, a, that took a while. That was quite a few screens. So, yeah. I'm in the zone now pretty much. I pretty much would not really want that, unless I was just doing complete runs. It's, it's bad. And then, for the, uh, these screens, like, your general idea is uh, clear the enemies first, and then if you don't have to pick up an item near the end, you don't want to, but um, if, if, if an item just spawns and it's like the last one, last item on the screen, then you want to pick it up, because it adds an extra text screen um, after the experience, but you uh, but you get to that faster instead of waiting for items to despawn um, or crystals for that matter. So 
the, there's a little bit of, there's a lot of RNG involved with like how that works and what drops and stuff and. Um, all right, what's next? Okay, yeah. yeah. So you get the opportunities to save like little bits of time in, um, in every enemy kill. I mean, and then obviously RNG accordingly. So now we're gonna go back. We're gonna go get Niccolo. He's a he's a special character. He's basically gonna try and pull a fast one, and then we're gonna go and beat up a, a, um, a Secret of Mana classic character. Oh, if you played Secret of Mana, you you've uh, you've seen this enemy that we're gonna go fight with uh, Niccolo here. Before that, we're gonna do a couple other things. First, we're gonna go and we're gonna go talk to Tipo, and then there's gonna be some sketchy business going on here. Not gonna lie, not to throw Niccolo like under the bus or anything, but definitely, a, definitely a thing. Basically, one there's one quest in the game that you actually well actually there's a bunch of quests that benefit from this. Because basically we're gonna go and we're gonna go and unlock the stables for the pets right now. And by doing so, we're 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 getting like one quest further in like in like the cycle, but also we're gonna get a really really great pet. which comes in handy for a handful of fights, but also um, you actually need um, a pet for one part of the game, and uh, the little goblin that we go and get is like the fastest like in cutscenes. Um, among other things, that is a really, really open special too. And that was a really good so I'm just starting to get that. Alright, that was good though. Oh my gosh, man. And yeah, this is where they talk about the pets or whatever for a minute. Onion kid, going crazy. Well then. <laughs> yeah, and by doing all that stuff with Tipo and stuff, we don't have to go back into Domina to get um, Niccolo. Like, we've already done all that stuff, so we, we have uh, the next artifact, which is the wheel, which we tried to sell for 50,000 lucre, which is quite a lot. I mean, that's a... That's a... Yeah, that's a... That's a lot of expensive gems in this game. So this, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of menuing. Other than that, it's just gonna be some small groups. And immediately you'll notice the damage is like in another dimension. Those axes really, really power you up. Yeah, oh yeah, and also, um, as far as like the drops go, candies, um, they actually refill your health, so it's kind of weird, because you get full life anyway. This is one of the weird things about the game, not ending the way it was supposed to. Um, but, um, for speedrunning purposes, it's better than an item dropping, because um, it, if it's a last drop, it's actually got benefits, because it's a one drop, um, it's slow, to come out, but like I said, it's one thing, so you don't have to like worry about collecting like a bunch of little crystals or um, or waiting about like a menu screen or something. A little job in the hood. Yeah, 
and those items were collecting your seeds. Use those for making making food in your orchard. But we won't be doing that. And yeah, these guys, uh, they're, they're not really much for the confrontation, so. Alright, here we go, yeah. The Mantis, legendary, classic, mm -hmm. um, and that being said, the, uh, especially with an Earth Splitter, uh, this, we're gonna make really short work of the Mantis. That being said, hopefully Niccolo ends up somewhere around here by the time this stops, but we'll see. Because he'll move into it and then and then that's good. Yeah, not too bad. Oh man. Alright, let's see what is this. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and this is a this next one, we're gonna be using some of that uh yeah, manipulation, the uh, like quest manipulation and uh, like uh, and progression abuse. Like we're gonna place an artifact that we're never gonna go to, um, and that's just to like push things further, like one step. I don't know exactly how it works, but I know like that's what you're doing specifically. So we're gonna go to the Firefly Lamp, but we're gonna place the medallion as well here. Yeah, what the? Yeah, and you have to actually be careful about how you do some of this, uh, some of the quests and uh, some of the uh, placement of items on the map, because otherwise, like, you won't be, you won't reach all the criteria, and uh, you'll result in a rip run. Speaking of, this is a quest that, yeah, you basically have to learn the Dudbear language to sell some lamps. Spoilers. Um, and uh, it can be quite troublesome if you make a mistake in trying to sell some of these lamps to some of these little, these little bears. block me too. Oh yeah, and NPCs can block you in, in this because they take up space and it's it's random where they go. So sometimes you just gotta really pray. Yeah and there's like these all these like paths are like pretty like, pretty narrow as it is. Um, and here we go we're gonna start speaking death bear but um, I do not feel confident enough to uh, translate on the fly for everybody, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, I have reduced to memorizing them as a pattern. It's very easy to understand once you know the pattern. But yeah, I actually, I actually, I actually know what most of the words are still, but. Yeah. 
I usually like to have a little bit more fun <laughs> with, uh, with translating that, so I'm sorry. But yeah, they're, uh... All I know is they get real. they get really, really excited about the, the, the work that you sold them. They are... These these dud bears are ready to take all the Instagram photos of uh, Monique's lamps and oh man, I mean I like them too. There's some really good ones. All right, got a sec too. Goodbye, Gilbert. <laughs> yeah, Gilbert going in, man. All right, here we go. Down, down, down. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, and here they come. They're like, yo, they come in as the trio. They're like, they're like, yo, we are here to let you know. They're like, yo, Dove. Yeah, they're just all strutting. They're like, dub a dub dub, doob doob a dub a doob dub. Oh my! Da bob dubba, double grubba dubba, da da! Oh, I don't know what to say, but thank you! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, no, they, <laughs> they just geek me out, they're so hype. Not as hype as some of the other NPCs, but man, they're. <laughs> the, the, that, this quest has a special place for me. Alright, like I said, we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna place another artifact that we don't even go to. But first, uh, we're gonna go back and get. We're gonna get one of them. Dub dubbo, grub a dubbo. Do baba. Gag. All right, hold on, wait. My spoon is too big. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, we might actually get blocked here. This this dud bear has a yeah. He likes to block that path pretty consistently. All right. And uh oh my gosh, I thought he wasn't here for a second. I was like, you have got to be kidding me. I know I did everything right. What the? Don't do this to me, game. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're gonna visit the underground. We're gonna go and get Lark. He's a dragoon. It's pretty complicated what happens with this story. It's kind of a mess. It's all over the place. He really turns into a monster of what he could have been. And, uh, yeah. This is the beginning of the dragon story, personally. Uh, so there are three main, like, uh, storylines in this game. Um, and you can actually complete all of them before you beat the game, um, or you can beat any combination of them. Um, this one is the dragon storyline, and it is, it is the shortest story. Um, which is why um, I decided to learn it first. Um, anyway, so here's one of the main uh, quests. The rest is basically all filler. This game is m a lot of side quests, like a lot of side, like a lot of stuff to do, a lot of side quests, and um, and like and like I said, three main storylines to complete. But all right, let's see though. 
And right now, we're basically gonna go get blessed, and it'll open up those, like, paths that weren't open there before. You'll see. By getting baptized. The baptism of flame. There are a lot of these shadows, and they, uh, they teleport in places. Whoops. <laughs> what's on your mind? That's one of my favorite lines in the game. So, what's on your mind? It's like, oh, I don't know, the baptism of flames. It's like, okay, daddy-o. <laughs> Love it, so it cracks me up every time. And a little bit of wiggles, and we're in there. Oops, no we're not. I thought we were. We gotta go. Yeah, and that being said, like, the, the levels, like, the navigating doesn't look too hard, but um, sometimes it's, like, some of the, like, uh, points that you can get stuck on. Um, it's very hard to tell sometimes. And uh, there's like a lot of like little walls and stuff that jut out in a lot of places, so it's like really easy to get caught and uh, and lose a lot of time. And even I mean, not like a lot, but you know. Okay, so you're trying to bounce back and forth a little bit too, and then. And then and then we're done menuing as far as, oops, um, as, far as uh, uh, techniques and stuff go, outside of when we get our last weapon. Um, but yeah, we want that Counter-Strike. We don't need it for this boss. I just did, I just switch it as soon as I get it. It's just in my nature, you know? Eventually I'll probably um, switch it um, after this fight, just because it there's no reason to do the menu if this fight goes bad eventually. Because this boss is real prone to just like leaving for long periods of time and then doing an ST like that. He came up, showed up, does an ST, and then leaves. It. And hopefully, this is him. It should. So the first the first cycle was really good. I got a lot of damage on him, but yeah, now he's doing his thing. Hitadama is his boss's name. He he does he does not like to get hit. He will leave. He will just leave. So hopefully we can get some a couple more hits. In there. And that's one thing that's actually good about Guri is that Guri throws out that axe and it'll interrupt um, a lot of bosses. So that's one thing that makes Guri like a must get. Also, it's pretty fast to get Curry, honestly. You, like, you don't have to really go out of your way. It's not... It's not much longer than, like, going to the stables and getting, like, your, your default pet or whatever. Because you certainly would in this category, you wouldn't, like, go and get an egg and, and hatch an egg and stuff. Alright, basically here, we... But it was a trick. We got we got tricked into doing this, and we basically have to comply. So here we are. Yeah, we, we walked right into it, <laughs> and now he chuckles. And me and Lark are gonna go gallivanting for a little bit. Go a couple places. The we're gonna visit the kids first. Actually, that's where we're going first. We're gonna visit the kids. It's gonna be great. Um... Yeah, like I said, a little bit, a little bit of menu stuff that I need to make sure I'm on top of. And this is one of the artifacts that we won't be going to, the junkyard. 
which is a shame. It's pretty cool looking. <laughs> it's pretty interesting too, but anyway. First. All right, let's see what's coming up in this split. Anything interesting? Yeah, there's a bunch of birds. We're gonna fight some. For some reason, I don't believe you, but I'm. I, you're making me more curious now. Bye, curious. Spliced run, everybody. <laughs> Conformed. The rest is Tass. The first half was the was the item RNG. Come actually, that's what he says. Alright. Alright, there's shriek nips though. Yeah, what's up, man? It's... Yeah, thanks for the GL, man. Yeah, that being said, like if anybody wants to ask any questions about it, uh, in Dr. Godbody's chat, feel free to. I'm just trying to give, like, yeah, as much information as I can, obviously. Uh, it's, it's, it helps, it's like helping me, like, iron out, like, a lot of the learning process of this game, too. So, this boss, uh, is the only one of these little bird bosses that has, like, a real serious RNG. It's, like, RNG, like, on whether or not, like, it does, like, a magic or, like, whoops. when it activates, so this is going to be a bad one, which is, we're near the bottom of the screen, you know, and basically when these birds die, uh, you want to be near the top of the screen, so I've kind of fucked this one up, but, oh well, yeah. <laughs> the red turtle, of course, it's always the red turtle. You know that. And before they're all red. And before they're all red. Okay, so apparently something went crazy. Let's see them up. And whoops. And yeah, this one's not too bad though. Yeah, and this one we're actually gonna set up right. So we're gonna bop over to the other side of this dude. Activate the talk on the right. Start the chain. Launch him. Oops, maybe not launch him. Okay, whoa, whoa. Wrong way. Right now. And then just cancel it a bunch of times. Um, I don't think they're. I mean, they're not default, that's for sure. Alright, and then yeah, this will go off the top, and then you just bump a dop a dop in here, and then we're gonna wiggle move through this room, ready? And we're gonna fight this shriek, shriek nips the same way. Then we're gonna saw blade these folks. Mm. Okay, and then, yeah, 
Shriek Nibs can get really out of hand. Uh, which of those those plant fucks? Uh, <laughs> they, yeah, they're a piece of shit. Then mushrooms. Like lots of enemy groups can get out of hand. Really? Okay, come on. No help from anybody. <laughs> so gotta go and get all that XP manually. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, oh wait, yeah. Okay. There's a there's a scene coming up in this in this you'll see it coming up. Uh, basically, there's a barrier that's blocked. With, you go and kill three of those like little bird fucks, and basically what it enables you to do is go past this barrier. Now, if you um, if you run into it by accident, you basically get sent back to like the beginning of this quest, which is a real fucking pain in the ass because you just have to fight a shitload of fights. And, and retrack, at least up to here. Like, you don't have to redo the bird fights, but you do have to do some other shit. So we're gonna, this is the first Counter-Strike. Oh gosh, and there we go. And bam, and we're gonna wiggle, and we're gonna get some XP. No, we're gonna get an item, bullshit. Spiral Claw. Right. Same thing, wiggle up. Get on the other side, and then we're gonna try and do a full combo. We're gonna try and carry on the stage. Nice. And that's no, oh my god, no. And then I missed it, but I wiggled out. So we're good. So. Now he's at the top, you can just stun lock him. And this is my baby, baby straps for right now. Oh my gosh, seriously? And sometimes the um, the NPCs can just get make things out of hand. They'll just they'll <laughs> there's all sorts of stuff. You have two NPCs that can make stuff out of hand. There's like synchro damage where if if people are like close enough to you, you do bonus damage. So like you basically have like bonus random damage. Um, and then like of course all the enemy stuff is like you can manipulate, but you know you really gotta. Oh my gosh, they like. Nice. Lard coming up there, interrupting him right before he swings right into the counter strike. So it's like, and then when you start attacking, it's like he stops all of a sudden. It's like, okay, of course, Lark. He's just trying to let, he's just trying to let everybody out there know that like he's he's a part of this game too. He's like, let's go. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Okay. He's got a lot of things wrong with him, that's the answer. Not to put him down. Not to not to just speak, speak ill of my dude, but... Uh, hopefully... Guri... No, Guri ain't gonna go get shit. So we're gonna go get that XP. Pick up the rest. Hug this wall. Get out. Oh, Gurry, you're the shit. Look at you picking up all that shit. Okay. For some reason, it still just feels like so long. It almost felt like I didn't pick up the item. Hey, I don't kill TMNT. I kill Shredder. <laughs> Throw that fuck off a motherfucking rooftop. <laughs> that, that's the way to do it. You don't always do that though. I guess sometimes you just beat him. You just beat him in the Technodrome. And then you leave and it blows up or something. It's like, damn, you gotta do him like that. Alright, here we go though. And. Okay, that's a good one. Oh man, I got a bad spot. Oh man, no, I got a good spot though. Alright. And I missed the setup so I didn't get any of it. Get any of that Yeti's experience? Alright, here we go. Fuck this bird. Oops. Oh, I missed a one, I think. Alright, okay, and then. We can counter strike this boss, but 
this boss like is like real it's really fucking random what happened for this one. So hopefully he just comes in. Okay, no, he's, he's gonna do this. Flying with this shit. And fight, okay, big one. Uh, that's one counter strike, that's big damage anyway. Oh my gosh, Lord. Oh, there's the cutting point. I should actually be coming into this, but... Okay! That actually was pretty good. I got a couple of counter-strikes pretty early, and then, yeah, Lord did big damage. I could've probably combo finished him, but I just wanted to... I just wanted to mess with the <laughs> aggravator a little bit. Luckily, it worked out pretty well. Okay. Right. Yeah, this next quest, not really anything can go wrong in it other than execution. And then, uh, if you make a mistake, it's not that much time. We get to mix a potion. Get to help some, uh, some school kids out for a little bit. They're putting something together. And then it'll be the second round, the second major part of RNG. Like every, every, like pretty much everywhere there's RNG in like every fight, and, you know, what your NPCs will do, like, and like, in some plot times, like where they'll like stand and, but like, uh, the two real parts as far as like completing a run go, like you just need to really get these weapons. So the second one, there's there's multiple weapon drops, but you can only accept one. You really just need a brave blade. So we're gonna really hope that it doesn't take us a lot of time to get one. Um, in the next split, this one, this one, this quest will be over in a sec. It won't be too long. Yeah, there's just three specific people that you have to talk to. Yeah. Even like with the my color blindness and some of my vision issues, like once you learn where they are, like they're static. So as long as you get used to seeing them uh, and keeping track of them, like it's not a big deal. So that's one thing that is really fortunate about that quest, because yeah, if I couldn't see it would be pretty bad. Alright, but anyway, here we go. So, there's gonna be a couple fights, but yeah, not too long before we start the grind for Blade, blade Braid. Yeah. First time we pass through this one room coming up, we'll have a chance to get it, and then we'll have a second chance to get it. So we'll have four chances in the regular route, but if it doesn't happen, then it's like you get two chances at a time. And it can, it can, be, it can be tedious, so let's hope that it's not as bad as our, uh, as our, uh, Mech of Caverns, uh, accent. <laughs> At least for that one. Well, yeah, it just took a long time. Even the Black Elk would have been fine if it was faster. But, and it's a fine weapon. The starting weapons aren't too bad. Whoops. I messed up. That's not too bad. I just gotta re enter the screen. As far as I know, you can like, either like, go for counter strikes or you can just like combo this guy out. I'll probably just combo him out. Counter strike just seems like so random what's gonna happen. You gotta get all of the ass. Dude, for the, for the, 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 the,
tree. Man. And this is a situation where yeah, he hasn't even thrown out any moves. She got that money too. <laughs> Alright, nice. Good entrance. Alright, here we go. And Guri's gonna trigger this trap. <laughs> it's like, careful here, and Guri's like, yeah! It's like, we're getting into this that much. That's so much. You gotta become Guri. At least that much. Alright, here we go. So here's the first Brave Blade section. Uh, we're gonna, we're just praying. We are praying. Okay, so no brave blade there. Oh, uh, you seriously blocked it? Seriously. Alright, come on, please. Nope. Alright, so hopefully we'll get it on the second on the way back, because we have to backtrack through this room, but yeah, that's not what you really want. Whoops. <laughs> and then the skull's like, here you go, I'll help you out. Whatever, man. There you go, though. Alright. Party split up, but not anymore. We got Gray. Also, yeah, there are, like, very, there are, like, as far as I know, like, the chests, like, for the most part, are very basic, like, uh, item creation items, and so it's, like, they're, they're pretty much just not worth doing. But apparently they're going for the counterattack blocks. Oh, oh, please, 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 please. please. I would love to not have to fight these guys again. Okay, so I have to fight these guys again. Yo, Jordan, yeah, good night. Yeah, thanks for being here. But man, throw up these items. Alright, come on. Come on, Brave Blade. Alright, come on. Oh my gosh, seriously. All right, well here we go. We're in we're in brave blade time. We just gotta pray for it. I'm believing it's it. No, it's not. Yep, there you go. All right, spin the wheel. Do something. Beyblade. Beyblade. Let it rip. Let it rip. Okay, or, you know, just attack in the other direction. Come on, please just drop it. Okay. This game is really, really, it's really showing me its powers right now. Okay, come on. It's a secret. And of course, in this time, I come in here to do the combos and they're like full out guns blazing. Oh my gosh, dude. How many screens is this? How many item screens is this? This is like for both of them, too. I should have had a counter. But that's definitely a new thing I need to do. This is a thing. A counter for these two screens. Oh, please. Oh my gosh, please don't do this. Dude, God. Dude. 
Well, yeah, this is the thing. Oh, come on. Please. Alright, maybe, maybe this is good. Maybe all we have to do is just suck through the last, last attempt to celebrate. Come on. That's it, that's it, I believe. I believe, I believe. done with menu or we're done with like item stuff all right that took yeah, minutes good gosh both weapons both weapons were minutes but that is the name of the game for sure yeah is this my favorite this is the one I definitely have the most nostalgia for um, it was the first one I really played I think my favorite it's like I mean I don't know it just depends on the day I guess it's either this or it's it, or it's three. Three's, three's the fucking best. I mean, don't like, you know. But I have I have way more nostalgia for this, and obviously in its own way, the presentation in this is just fucking insane. And, uh, uh, and that being said, this game is still awesome. But I think that Mana's a or Sega Nintendo Three is definitely my. It's probably overall my favorite, but. This game has a bunch going for it, for sure. Oops. So, yeah, for me, it's it's those two, for sure. And then, the, in Secret of Mana is, like, right after that. Um, I didn't really like Children. Um, I haven't really played Dawn. I plan on playing Dawn at some point. Heroes, I'm probably never going to play. Um, and that's like a time constraint thing, and that game is like, seems pretty serious, and that just won't happen. Um, so maybe some form of, of the first one, maybe the Game Boy one, maybe maybe one of the remakes. I want to play, I want to play Secret, uh, the remake of Secret as well. Um, I heard after the patch, so I've heard it's very good. Yeah, this game, like pretty much all the Mana games, gets, you know, got shafted one way for one reason or another in development, like, you know. Or there's like some complication or something, so. Um, yeah, it's it's got a lot going for it though. And uh, that being said, the multiple storylines are are great actually still. You don't necessarily need to do all quests, but definitely like uh, the main storylines are really Um, and some of the bosses are just so sick. No. Oh my gosh. I thought I got that perfectly. I wish that the game was like definitely tougher, but it's still got it's still great. Maybe if I become a master, maybe I'll get some people to work on a, a remix version of the game. Alright Guri, thank you so much for all the blessings and taking your time here. Time for some of the drink. Gosh yeah, oh my gosh man. So much time on items this game, just crazy amounts of time. Both of them too man, they are both like... The fights haven't even really been that bad. Sub hour, yeah. This game is nowhere near sub hour yet. I know you are.
Yeah, soundtrack is a super sick. Yeah, yeah, there's some really good tracks. And unfortunately, like I said, this is the shortest category and it's only one storyline, so um, lots of really good tracks are left out. But most of them, a lot of my favorites are in here, for sure. Yeah, the battle themes are sick. Yeah, the presentation is really good. Some crazy art, sprite art, and crazy, like, some crazy graphics. Some of the artifacts are really pretty when they're being created. Some of the special techniques um, for you and for like bosses. So like every weapon actually has like 20 special techniques too, and then you've got you've got like 20 some techniques as well. So I only use, like, now I'm only using Counter-Strike and Sting. But, I mean, actually, that being said, now that I have Counter-Strike, I could actually, one of the times I get them, I could actually switch to jumping. Because I actually don't use Sting. But if I get Counter-Strike fast enough, it doesn't matter. Alright, that's the end of this, I think. Yeah. Tajara's easy. Like I said, pretty much most of them are easy, but sometimes the uh, the hitboxes can be a little weird. Sometimes you can just get like ruined by position stuff too. Um, in this category, there's only one boss fight that I'm like ever like, can go really bad. Uh, and that being said, I think it's the next one. No, it's not the next one. It's the one after this. Two quests from now. We're gonna take that green cane, though. That green cane, man. Okay. Uh. Let's see, so here we are, uh, probably half an hour. Maybe, you got time. Yeah, you got at least, you got at least 30 minutes for sure. At least 30 minutes, at least 30, maybe 45. Yeah, cause I got like six, I got probably like six minutes of items. So yeah, like that 140 range is probably like more like 150 because of that shit. And, and, and slightly adjusted for the different names. So yeah, you're good. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this should, it, we're good. We're in there. Yeah, thanks for all the love. Hell yeah. Just everybody, make sure you support the goons. Get the get everybody out there. Have a good time for me. I'll be there next time. Hopefully, this is the last one of the last big events I miss. I want to start going to a bunch of them, but I got a couple things I got to take care of. Is this the straight down one? Yeah. This scene I've been messing up the entrance to a lot recently. So. Wait, for real? You just blocked it? Oh, fucking rabbi, it's still. Oh, okay. Special goblin. Alright, come on. You're right, I can sense your direction. It's weird that we're like direct. I don't know, I don't know why we're directing you, honestly. Alright, come on, tree. Hit me. Wait, for real? I hope that doesn't kill anything when hit this. Yo, Acto, yeah, this, yeah, this music is one of the ones really, really good. Really relaxing. There's some, yeah, well, I use, I go back to the, a lot of music in this game to help, help me calm down and feel better, too. So I figured, like, why not just start running it, you know? And, uh, this category is pretty chill. It's like, 
less than two hours, even without like too much crazy time spent. I mean, I played a lot of this. I played tons of this game casually, like an insane amount. Um, but. And I'll get to some of the other stuff. I'll, I'm basically going to learn other categories just to obviously see more of the game. See more of the... See how much you can get in there. I don't know if I'll do like all quests or not, but I'll, I want to do at least like... At least all the main storylines and like learn how to change them and stuff. This, uh, this dragon theme is pretty good though too. Got a little bit of time here to mash through this stuff. Good dragon. Give me that crystal. This is it. This is all I can give you. Now I gotta go. What a goon. Page! Alright, I'm gonna stay. Cause sometimes when you go to meet a new friend and they're a mana beast, sometimes uh, they just want your help or whatever, and sometimes they just want you to. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna try and fight. Yeah, just chunk them down. Hopefully this Sierra doesn't get too crazy. Alright, and uh, this is actually good. This is a good fight. Especially the yeah. one more. One more? Nah, oh, yeah, I don't think I was. Yeah, I need it. Alright, yeah, that was good. Good enough. You had a stun lock. The beast, get a couple counter attacks. And for free, and then counterattack through her. Yeah. Yeah. And now that we're done fighting, we're gonna help the you know, Sierra navigate through the underworld because, you know, obviously that's what she wants. Okay. Um. Yep. Planet Chaos Sega Saturn controller. I want a Planet Chaos Sega Saturn controller. basically do the same route as we do through the underworld except we don't have to do the baptism of flames because we already did that um, and then we have to go through some of those extra faces and a little bit and that's pretty much it as far as this split the first half of this split goes and then some really interesting stuff happens there's like a transformation and then there's another transformation and then hmm, there's some crazy bosses and then there's Another transformation, so and we're gonna fight a big big monster at the end. And that's gonna be the end of the dragon quest. And then basically after the end of this quest, which is the end concludes the dragon quest uh, storyline, um, we basically just do other side story stuff until um, we've triggered enough events to go to the end of the game. And, uh, so here we are. Yeah. 
they are not Oh, there was already no was. There we go. Everyone be quiet. Moment of silence for the silent faces. And we'll be going. Uh, we're gonna say goodbye to them a couple times. Oops. That's one that I've been getting stuck on more recently. Like one right before that little bridge. Himself with fast travel. Alright, and here we go. This is gonna be a long cutscene, longish cutscene. So, everyone, if you haven't, make sure you go and get your donations in. This is your chance. This is your chance right before the main quests are done for this game. Uh, which won't be time. There's like a bonus game after, after you beat the main storyline. You get to go and do some other stuff to, you know, start the cycle all over again. That's what it's about. It's about hitting reset. It's about hitting select, start, L1, R1, L2, and R2 at the same time. Starting from the beginning. That's how, actually, that's how I'm gonna make this. That's how I'm gonna go way over SD. I'm actually gonna just double down. I didn't get good item drops. We'll do a soft reset. We'll do it back here in God. Because we're gonna just magically have that. Obviously that's not gonna happen, but yeah. Yeah, and here we go. Here's the first transformation I was talking about. Basically, Draconis, yeah, Lark, yeah, he's a he was a pawn for Draconis the whole time. What a surprise. No one saw that coming. He gets transformed into a, a mecha centaur version of himself or something. Like, uh, okay, so we got Max in here. We're gonna go with 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 Max in here. We have Jump. We have Jump. We can do even better. But he is gonna die. I don't remember. We can make, yeah, we can execute this, right? So. Good synchro. I got pushed out a couple times, but it's not a big deal. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Give me that lucre. Alright, yeah. We're gonna talk for a little bit and then it's gonna be time to change it on up. Change it on up. To some of this. The flames. Yeah, Centaur, yeah. Yeah. Not my first centaur in a video game. That would belong to the one and only Centaur Man, who has a who has a great uh, some great themes. I love that. some of the themes in Six. I have uh, it being my first one that I own bias, but yeah, there's some tracks in it. Kind of tapers off, but it's also still pretty solid throughout. All right, yeah, so yeah, we got the flames going on now. Great, great artifact transformation. Even though you don't place it, it's just in the middle of this quest. It turns into the flames. So yeah, there it is. There's the flames in the background. We're gonna use this bridge to cross in over into it, like from the underworld. I guess. Okay. Yeah, and there's Spirit Bodice, yeah. So, yeah. He, Bodice just wanted to be free from the body, you know, it's like, eh, oh, whatever, I can 
I can I don't wanna go down to some goon. I'll let uh I'll let the hero of mana man, end my existence. And I can be happy. And here we go. Whoops. Alright, last part of the storyline. This little castle, and then after that it's gonna just be hunting for the Sword of Mana. Couple last handful of artifact placements, and... Um, and... One quest? No, two quests. Two extra quests. There's a Brave Blade. <laughs> yeah, picking up a random Brave Blade after the main points is like so sad. Yeah, cool thing about Brave Blade too is that I I know for a fact I used it in my first run. Uh, it drop there's it drops in a lot of places and it's a really powerful weapon. And the first time I played through this game I just picked up random weapons and used the most powerful ones. I bought a couple I think. I was really, I mean, I used a lot of uh, Men's Spear for a while. Well, I, I, and that means I actually started my first game with a two-handed sword, which is the weapon that you, um, that you use in this one. I'm assuming in all the runs, too. Um, yes, that's, an, that's interesting. And I really lucked out, too. Because it's really it's a cool looking weapon too. All the weapons are really fun to play around with too in this game, and so are a lot of the techniques and stuff. And then some of the special techniques are just super cool to look at, even if they're impractical. for counterattack, but the airborne enemies are a little harder to hit, so they also don't strike the same way, so we're gonna just smash them down. We're gonna hug right about there. And this is actually a pretty much perfect spot for this little screen. Yep. Pretty good. And, uh, oops. Situation, but I guess like using the spin would be really good. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah, and a little Secret of Mana cameo. I didn't point it out earlier, but I'll point it out the second time we pass it. There's the... There's Popoy from Secret of Mana. He is uh, the safe statue in all the worlds, most of the worlds, most of them, most of them for sure. If not all of the safe statues are actually him in this game, or her, I don't remember what Popoy actually is. It's not the B, it's in Venice. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, nice, yeah. Fruit? So we got the Seiken Densetsu 2, Seiken Densetsu 3 references in this. So good. And obviously, lots of obviously common things too in the series. I and mean, there's Podos, Rabbites. Please. There's another Brave Blade just 
just because. So I've got like a whole inventory of brave blades now. That's not true, there's not that many. there's only three. Just wanted to keep the hype going. Alright, let's go. Spin. Oh yeah, there we go. I didn't get so I didn't get dizzy from that. I don't know what calls that. stretch of this quest. Well before there's there's a lot, a lot of tanks coming up too. So after this quest. Which there isn't too much of this left. There's like three fights left I think. Two boss fights, one screen of enemies. Oops. Yeah this one's not too bad. So I'm gonna try and go for the cool kill where I basically got on the other side of them and carry into the corner. But uh, the only downside of this is that if you get pushed into the corner, it's really bad. This is early enough. I'm going for the big damage here. Usually I try and save my technique for the other boss, but this is like right in the beginning of the fight, so it's going to be a really fast fight. We're gonna be in the right exact spot for pretty much the entrance. Yo, Striker, hey, what's up? Um, yeah, so yeah, I was talking about how I wish that I had I had jump straps already, man. Uh, I wish I was there. I was thinking like even in like this category, like I could even make an adjustment to like the last screen where you menu just go and go and equip jump to the screen. Oh, I'll get there. Oops, that was bad. Oh, yeah. Alright, yeah, and this boss, yeah, he's, uh... Yeah, this boss can be a real pain. Uh, I still struggle sometimes with this boss and like where it actually hits him, like what what's a hurt box and stuff like that, but we'll see. This is one way to look at it, is if this is the last boss of the game. Is this the last one in the storyline that we need? Um, and, uh, yeah, he's a, he's a, he can be a real pain. Sometimes you get really good spots, so... Okay, so I took a, di a risk, uh, shit. That was a situation where I just didn't know where he was going to be. Oh, I'm, I might have to die. Ah, oh, no. Maybe this is good. Yeah, not too much. Do 
not. Okay. Sick, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. All right, here we go. Last stretch of the game, man. Yo, good morning, Frisbee. Too. Oh man, that's sick. And some Sonic Mania Plus. I still need to play Sonic Mania. I haven't gotten to it yet. There's just so much to play. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this game is sick. Yeah, you should definitely check it out. Um, there's a lot of ways to play it. Um, I recommend if you don't have an insane amount of time, uh, just doing using a tutorial and doing an all storyline, like do it all adventure. Like you can do it, like you could do it blind and like yeah, definitely less than 20 hours too. So with a guide, uh, otherwise like you might just get lost. There's a lot of archaic triggers and uh, that's a fun way to play it too. But yeah, I definitely check it out. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be sick. By the way, Striker. Yeah, definitely. Let me know, cause I want to definitely check out a bunch of. Uh, I mean, I want to learn a ton of. Yeah. Oh yeah, and thank you. Yeah. Oh, and thanks, Fat Body, for even suggesting it. Yeah. I I want to play a lot more of this game. It's one of my favorites. So. Because I have a lot of. Uh, I like a I like a lot of things about this game. And it nails like a ton of stuff. You know? Yeah, and there was it was like in a like in the beginning of like the era of this stuff too. It's like item creation. Like this is like you get like comprehensive like item creation and magic creation. You can even create golems in this game, which are like like Gurry, like your little pet. So Doctor Wait, I came up with some good ones. What were they? Doctor Oh, dude, Dr. Thick Thorax. That's, like, my favorite one, probably. Dr. Thick... Press one for... Press one for Dr. Thick Thorax, actually. Yeah, this game is, like, mad complicated. I want to learn a lot more of it. This route makes it seem very simple, but... You do a lot of specific stuff on the map, and certain things in the quest order, and, you know... It's pretty simple to... It's not pretty simple. I mean, I played it a whole bunch, but... It's not too crazy. Yeah. I know, I saved that. I was thinking about I was thinking about it all day. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> the thick I was cracking up. I was like, what are some good ones? I was like, this is the one I'm saving. This is the one I saved it for this. There you go. Okay, fuck. What do I need to do? Oh wait, I remember. I told you I did a run earlier. I did my first no notes. I I'm using my notes for this one, because I don't want to fuck it up. I did my, my practice run. Instead of getting sleep, like I should have been really considering doing, I uh, I did this instead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's easy to pick up and yeah, it's like you don't have to learn an insane amount. Like if you if you have good notes, you can you can do this game in, in two hours without insane amounts of work. But with like certain ceilings, like there's a lot, there's a lot of things that you can do to save time manually, and then obviously you've got the RNG, so you've got manual time saves, and you have RNG time saves. So and obviously like any beat 'em up, like adjusting those. I mean, you can't do anything about item drops. Like I lost like. 
I don't know, probably like seven minutes at least to item drops in this run. Then my item drops were hilariously bad. Both of them. I wasted my Brave Blade in that practice run too. That first Brave Blade was like, oh. Yeah, STs. Oh yeah, let's see what the ST. Yeah. Oh shit. Crabs. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking up on the crabs right now. Actually, what was the quote? Yeah, I, I actually. <laughs> when I first started, I did a YOLO D Rust run. I was like, alright, well, let's see what we can do. I actually thought that the reason that I messed up my run was uh, because I. I, uh. It's like, maybe I. Maybe I didn't get, get enough crabs in summer. Love it. <laughs> But yeah, no. <laughs> and there are reasons why I thought that, but it's it's not exactly what I, it, it doesn't work like that at all. I don't know. I actually don't know what I messed up in that in that restaurant. Yeah, I don't know. But it was something. I actually wrote it down because I, I just thought this shit was hilarious. I was fucking cracking up. Well, actually, someone quoted me back in my chat, and I was like, okay, yeah, this one. This one's a keeper. We got it. <laughs> I might be a big. Yeah. I hope that people quote me on that. <laughs> Shit's funny. Yeah. So, and I wrote it down on a piece of paper, and then I turned that into my notes for like this little grind that I'm on. And it's been really fun. Oh yeah. And that being said, speaking of uh, SD3, uh, one of my favorite bosses in SD3 is in in this game, and we're getting ready to go fight him. It's none other than the Full Metal Hagger. Uh, I think that's the home of the uh, gnome, spirit gnome. Uh, in this game, he's on a beach, so... And you don't get gnome for him. You don't you don't collect the spirits or anything in this game. Well, not like that. Not, not like you do in SD3, or I guess 2 for that matter. Yeah, save all the crabs, yeah. <laughs> save the crabs. Okay, I tried to do things. Okay. Yeah. Whoops. Oh my gosh, I'm bad at that. Yeah, the magic system is like a whole another thing. Do you use magic in any of the categories? There's like no way, right? Alright, so here we go. A lot of crabs. How many crabs did I get? Should I get to find out? Yeah, I think so. I used to love making magic. Well, because it's cool, you like, you make, you make musical instruments. Oh yeah, and then you can use musical instruments to capture pets. Oh, we're gonna get a perfect fight. Oh no. Oh, so, okay. I thought we actually got it. Oh, you crafting hammer. Oh, wait, really? A walk hammer. I was secretly hoping you were going to say a flail, but yeah, I don't think they're good. Yeah, boat. Oh man, yeah. I don't know. The other weapons are so much fun. But the ones that I'd say I've used most are two handed sword, though, for sure, and uh, secondarily. Maybe it's still spear, but it might be. It might be hammer at this point. I play a lot of hammer. I love hammer. And now, of course, uh, two-handed axe and is going up, and so is axe, but... Yeah. yeah, man, bow used to be some shit, man. Alright, so here we go. I actually don't need my notes, I remember it now. Yeah, like, and just doing the run a handful of times, like, and just getting the artifact placement and item management stuff down, 
I saved so much. But, uh, yeah, one of my favorite artifact placements is this one. It's home. AKA Geo. That's where we were uh, when I started the stream. Actually, it is Geo. So yeah, we're getting pretty close. Yeah. So there's like uh, two more. No, still, still three more. No, two more quests. A really short quest, and then we're in the last one. Oh, sick, yo. Almost at that 5k. That follow button. Help the goons get there. Yeah. Yo, Big John block? What's after this, actually? Alright, goodbye notes. And goodbye home. See you later. We're leaving for now. We're gonna come back. Check you later. Haha, <laughs> yo, what's up? See you later. I like it when you walk in your house and you have Bud and like Bud will like see you later and he just like runs inside. And then he's like just chilling inside. He's like doo -doo 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 -doo. Sister's like, oh my gosh, my broom, it's broken. Duh, this was dad's. Stop freaking out. I'm gonna go see the seven wisdoms. Wait, just kidding. None of that stuff happens. Oh, Streets of Rage 2, hell yeah. And then Sonic Mania. Nobody nope, lots of pumpkins, go go hoot, go hoot. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but I need to go, this is very scary. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here too. Whoops. Alright, and yeah. Streets of Rage 2. Wait, what category? Who's the character? Wait, who's who's playing Streets of Rage? Blaze? Yeah. Shit. I well, didn't mean to join these guys. Responsible runner. Yo, all right, guys. I get it. I get it. I get it. This is just to give people a little bit more of a taste of some of the stuff that happens. In this game. Can I actually just run in there now? Yeah. Juggernaut, man. Oh, fucking juggernaut. <laughs> I'm not gonna get started up that shit. <laughs> Jugs, gotcha. Is that Mike Z? That body slash. What is that juggernaut? Juggernaut, body slash. Fucking welterweight champion of the world. And 
that's, yeah, we're getting there. Here's the schedule. Check it out. It's great. Maybe I should check out the schedule. Click that link. Alright. So not exactly where I want to be, but... <sighs> items were not cooperative at all. Not at all. Nothing I can do about it. We're pretty much in there though, so there's a handful of fights, and uh, it's gonna be, yeah. we're gonna teleport from the monetry to uh, yeah, the end of the game. The hole all the way. Yeah, also that artifact placement, obviously one of the one of the crazy ones. recognize this scene from the beginning of the game. There it is, look, look at it. You gotta check out the OST at some point. So you're responsible talking. I'm not supposed to talk to this guy. I'm sorry, Pokiel. You just look so lonely every other time I pass you. I just thought I'd I thought I'd just say hi this time. Just this once. You know, for old times' sake. Yeah, I even like went and talked to Minazak and stuff too. Jeez, man. I didn't do anything, anything stupid that would prevent me from getting this artifact, which, which, yeah, that would have ruined it, for sure. Because if you mess up the sequence, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, like, adjust it at the end. Yeah, this is pretty much coasting now. Like I said, it's really interesting though. For a lot of reasons. But... And there we go. Of course, we're at the we're at the mana. There's the chocobo. Uh, you can actually catch chocobo. Like you can get a chocobo instead of your rabbite as a default pet if you have a Final Fantasy VIII um, save file on your memory card, player one memory card, um, when you do the quest. I think it's when you do it. But yeah, like if you just you know start a game with one, you'll you'll get it. The Rabbite and the Chocobos aren't too bad, but the Rabbite is a little bit better because of the special attack. But having a Chocobo in it in and of itself is pretty cool. 
I think also there there's a if you have a save file for Saga Frontier 2, I know um, you get a special weapon. I think I thought that at least at one point that uh, that special weapon was actually used in um, uh, what's it called? Um, used in one of the longer runs. So that being said, I've, I've had a copy. I've had a copy of that game in my possession for a really long time, and I have to. I have it just to make save files if I need them to. It's 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 not in the it, it's not in the fairy quest though, right? What quest? Is it in all storylines or? Yeah, I, and I like I said, I have a, I have a copy of the disc just uh, just to make them. Um, even though I don't I don't even know if I've ever gotten the item. Good wiggle movement. Got teleported. Teleport. Oh gosh. <laughs> All right, so this is the last group of enemies that we're gonna fight before we go fight the Mon Goddess. Um, and then last hit would be time. So I'm probably gonna fish for a counter strike and count for time. Um, but I might just start chaining them. So it is it's gonna there's gonna be a short uh, little cutscene here and then it's gonna we're gonna we're gonna go crush them real quick. Crush this Mana Goddess and uh yep. Yeah. Yeah, and this track is pretty cool too. This is an interesting yeah, thing. Not too terribly difficult, but yes, yeah, Counter Strike is completely broken. And that's a big one. Nope. Okay. Oh gosh, run, run, run. Nope, too early. Oh no, yes, there we go. So time is going to be in two more of these, and time, nope, and once this health bar disappears, uh, I should just, okay, yeah, okay, time, yep, and that's, uh, that's Legend of Honor. There's some other text boxes and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, that was a really tight window on the ST lane. And then I got some good kind of hits, so pretty good fight. Yeah, actually, lo I, I lost a lot of time to weapons, like I said. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the GG, Manix. Yeah, so I'm going to mash through the text box. And there's a lot of like, long cutscenes, so we'll see what happens. Striker, thanks for the GG. Elevated, thank you as well. For the GG. Oh gosh, man. Oh my gosh. My face the whole time. Yo, Dagron, thanks to the GG. Uh, Frisbee, thanks to the GG as well. Yeah, so, and here it is, the last text box. And then, uh, yeah, some great end cutscene. I love this so much. Yeah, yo, the, yo it's the Roostar GG. <laughs> Roostar. And that's it. Gosh, my face this whole game. Ugh. I don't know what's going on. This pollen is just wrecking me. Okay, hold on. There we go. I'm coming. There we go. Wait, you can go yeah, again. There you go. Sorry. So. All right, word. Let me just come here. Yeah. All right, yeah. dude. So thank you for a fucking phenomenal run. I uh, stopped Thanks. the timer a little bit late. That was my bad. But it was around a 145. Yeah, that's that's great. That's like where I decided it would be 140, 150. So that's right. Yeah, no, it's just and right. It was, and it was all the it was all to the item. Just like I said. 
Yeah. I would have, I would, I would have PB'd too if I didn't get a such bad item loss. Dude, it's okay, man. It was an absolutely phenomenal showing. You definitely showed you're super knowledgeable about the run the entire time, especially for being as new to it as you are, man. Like that's sick. Yeah, I have a lot of people help too. So yeah, How and it was, it was a good run too. Any like yeah. shout outs and closing words you want to hit in before we move it on to the um, next one? Yeah, for the runs, uh, thanks uh, Striker and uh, Quattropris and uh, Sir VG as the main people who I got information from, and a ton of other people too, from like the SDA forums and uh, you know YouTubes for this game, and um, yeah, some other homies who uh, helped me get equipment for the first time because this is one of the first games I wanted to run. So uh, yeah, shouts to all those people. Shouts to Doctor Motherfucking Fat Body uh, and. Uh, Everybody, uh, yeah, get uh, everybody, get everybody there, get to the, everybody at the event, and uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Word and all right, guys. So coming up next, we are going to have Sonic Man 2005 doing Streets of Rage 2 Blaze on hard. Um, this dude has been putting in work in Streets of Rage for years and years, man. He's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, guys, give it up for Turbo Gilman. You know what I'm saying? Be sure to drop the homeboy a follow. Go sub to the goon. This dude is a monster at everything that he touches. Turtle's God, you know what I'm saying? Funky Samus from over there in the big MDs, you know what I'm saying? McDonald land. <laughs> yeah. But uh, all right, we're going to get us transition over to the next one, and we will see you all soon. Yeah.